but yeah, we, we arrive in Firenze, okay? And it's very, um, it's very chill. First of all, you get out of the airport. It's a tiny ass airport, which is awesome. I love small airports. You get out of the airport and immediately there's just a train, which is so sick. There's just a straight up train right there. They're like, hey, you want to get on the train? Of course, we didn't take it because I had a shit ton of equipment with me. Um, and ha we had no idea where the we were going and to figure out where the hotel is and stuff. So I call it Uber, classic, classic Hassan move. Call it Uber. Apparently there's not a lot of Ubers in Firenze. It's only like these massive Mercedes vans. And this lady is like, this lady's just like sitting in the spot for like, it says eight minutes out. And we're like, okay. And then eight minutes go by and I'm like, okay, it's still eight minutes out What's going on. And I'm just waiting like, okay, still eight minutes out. Another eight minutes passes. We text her like, what's going on? happening she texts me back coming soon and i was just like what, what do you mean coming soon like is this a movie like where are you she said coming soon yo it's been like 25 minutes i'm waiting on this uber and she's like coming soon i was like all right this place is ridiculous this is a ridiculous country okay fun fact taxi lobby basically killed uber in italy yeah everybody says that uber doesn't work here like they act like if you ask italians like if they have uber here they say no that is no Uber. Yes, taxi lobby killed Uber in most EU countries. Anyway, so then the Uber finally shows, oh, I cancel, and then I call it again. But because there's like eight Ubers in the entire goddamn uh, country, not country, in the entire goddamn city, it's the same woman again. So then this time we wait another eight minutes, she finally shows up and I'm like, all right, it's not so bad, you know? Please don't call them wondering why, you know? It's not so bad. We're here, right? We made it. So we get in, we get an Uber, uh, we get to the ho we get to the hotel. The hotel, this is the tiniest hotel room on the planet. I'll just tell you guys, let me tell you something. I think this is like a former women's prison or something. My mom chose it. And I told my mom, I was like, mom, you know, it's like, this is your thing. You love Florence, you love Rome, you love Italy, you love art, please get us a Please get us a hotel room that's like very nice so I can stream out of it, right? And, um, you know, money is no object, right? So my mom took that and instead of getting us like a fancy hotel, she got us a hotel that she wants, which is, of course, right in the middle of the action. So we're in smack dab in the middle of like, we're next to the dome, okay? We are literally on top of the mother dome. She like picked the best location and of course, if you're on top of the dome, one, it's gonna be a, it's it's basically like super tight. There's a lot of, uh, there's shortage for rooms here. The Duomo, si, si senor, signore. The Duomo. Drain with a window view, please. No, you can't because the buildings are tiny and I'm looking at a courtyard. So I can show you like the outside I can try and show you what the fuck's going on out here. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that in a sec. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. That's my that's outside for me. Yeah, I'm looking directly at a wall, an Italian wall, a wall with a uh, light right next to it. Let's start here, okay? I didn't bring a lot of clothes because I thought I'm going to Italy. That's like where you get clothes, right? Turns out I was wrong. Nothing fits me. So like I made I f***ed up. This is the only jacket that I brought because it was like. The first one that I grabbed out of the closet. Okay, so now I look like an asshole. Then we went to we went to a bunch of churches and stuff, a bunch of chapels, and Michelangelo, 100% in the muscle mommies, probably gay as hell. Okay, like I've never seen such yoked women. Look at this. I mean, he also made the babies yoked too, which I think is weird. But yeah, he made everybody yoked as. Bro, the babies were jacked. The babies were so yoked. It's odd. Anyway. Michelangelo 100% would have had a septum ring. Uh, and then, yeah, we went to the politics area, like where the political government building is. And then I found this vault. I don't know why I'm talking about it. Like I found it, like it was a secret or some shit. Uh, I mean, it's like one of the rooms that you can go to and see. I, I found a, a, a photo of a dog pooping, which I thought was kind of funny. This is literally a tapestry or not a tapestry, but like it's on the wall, man. It's in the government building like how crazy is that what are italians doing italians are on some other shit and then this is a death mask it's uh the guy uh, who founded hell he, he wrote uh yeah dante dante's inferno you know like the video game yeah he he invented hell which is kind of 
up when you think about it, but that's his death mask. Which is, again, another very weird Italian thing. Or, I guess, like, a very weird Roman thing. That, like, they... Dude, oh my god. Italians are so religious, bro. Like, honestly, they are so into religion. It's weird. And I think because they're Christian, you don't really think about it. But also, they're not even, like, really into religion. I feel like they're just simply into, like, the aesthetics of the religion. Like, they're like this... Look... Look at this building. There is 11 chapel in the building. And I'm like, why? Why are there so many f chapels? And then they're like, yes, this is a bone. A bone of St. John the Baptist is inside of the dome. And I'm like, that's weird. People need to f not do that. Why are you pointing to that in, in, in a very proud way? Like, and then my mom was talking about it and she reminded me like, they have, we have the same shit like in the, in the Muslim world too. Where they'll be like, this is Prophet Muhammad's like beard or some shit. You know what I mean? And like they, I guess it's not just like a Catholic thing. It's like a religious thing in general where they're just like, they love, oh my God, bro. They love cutting up the saints. Okay. They love cutting up the saints into bits and pieces, grave robbing, cutting up their own goddamn saints into bits and pieces, and then putting their pieces of bone inside of religious artifacts. Yeah, straight up. I mean, it's pretty metal when you think about it. But there's going to be relics in all cathedrals of Sun. Yeah, for me, I was like, that's crazy that they just have, like, I'm looking at the vertebrae of some saint. Like, what the f***? Don't you guys find that odd? Like, we went to the to the chapel that, uh, that Michelangelo finished, I guess. And then the other guy originally made it. What was it? Uh, there's another there's another famous architect. The Medici family uh, wanted to make a chapel. No, not the Sistine Chapel, you weirdos. I'm in, I'm in Firenze. I'm in Florence. Okay, everybody's like, who's the Sistine Chapel? No, no, ah, Bruno, Le uh, Bruno Leschi, is it? Bruno Leschi, yes, thank you. The saint of backbone for those who pray carrying heavy loads. Dude, dude, let me tell you something, yeah, Bruno Leschi, Bruno Leschi, the only man, the only man who can complete this, the dome. <laughs> there is no better architect. Um, but yeah, anyway, they, they, it was weird, it's weird as we went into the, we went into this, like, you know, Medici family church, right? And first of all, they just kind of left. Like Michelangelo was like, eh, I'm not going to finish this, which is weird. So there's just like a church that's unfinished in the middle of the city. And it's the oldest church. It's supposed to be the oldest church in the city. And everywhere around the churches are like insane. Okay. You go to Italy, you look at the churches, you're like, what the f dog? Why'd you guys spend so much money on this shit? Why would you do that? What an insane thing. Okay. And then, and then like the Medici family was like, this is our family church. This is going to be very important. Okay. This is very important. We have to make sure we finish this church. And then Michelangelo for one reason or another was like, nah, dog, it's all good. So like the outside of the church is just completely unfinished. So it literally looks like, like a church from the 10th century next to like all of these massive, all these fat churches, right? But then you go inside of the church and you're like, oh my God, why did they spend so much time on this? Why did they spend so much money on this? Like, dude, it's so crazy. The amount of, like they were just flexing, bro. The Medicis were just flexing on the goddamn peasants. They were like, oh yes, we have all of the loans. It's not a usury, only Jews do that. We do something different. We buy the Pope. We buy the church. It's a very good. It's okay. It's a, it's a totally normal when we do it because we're good Catholic Christians. And then, and then like, I still haven't been able to figure out why the f Medici are different than like Jewish people and the type of usury that they engaged in. But I guess it's because they weren't like going, uh, they weren't like, they were just simply loaning. They were the bank without actually any usury whatsoever. Okay. And then, so they were basically like, we're doing the same thing that normally Jewish people do, but we're doing it in a non-Jewish way, so we're good. Jews, on the other hand, they caused the Black Plague, like that sort of shit. That's what they were on, basically, okay? It, it literally feels to me like it was just some anti-Semitic shit, where it just feels like they're like, oh yeah, we're also the bank, <laughs> but also we're not Jewish, so, you know, that's different. It's totally different type of banking. Um, anyway, but then they like, they had so much Money. They have so much goddamn money. So what did they f do? They just like built these insane f chapels. Okay. 
And I was thinking, like, let me tell you something. If I'm, I don't know, what, what are the Italian professions at the time? Textile worker, pirate, gay, right? All The three main Italian jobs at the time in the Medici era is homosexual guy who the people in the Vatican, okay? Textile worker and then pirate. So if I'm one of those three professions, okay, and I'm broke as I'm just broke all the goddamn time, and then I see these motherfuckers building this palazzo, this crazy ass chapel down the street. And I'm like, what is this? Like, I, I don't have enough money for the pizza and you're building this bitch ass thing. I would burn it down. I'd be like, no, nah, this. I don't understand how for so long people just like kind of looked at these guys and they were like, they were on some prosperity gospel shit. I know that that's like Protestant as hell, but like the Catholics were on that prosperity gospel shit too. Because, like, it, it feels to me like they had... I mean, they just spent so much goddamn money on, like, the craziest shit. And it, there's so much poverty at the time, too. And it just doesn't make any sense to me how nobody was like, Wait a minute, like, why... Why are these guys getting marbles from literally, like, like rare earth minerals to put in their chapel when I don't have enough money to eat? What the f is going on? I would be like, that's crazy. Let's eat those guys instead. How the f did nobody go, oh my God, this God shit is crazy. It seems like they actually went in the exact opposite direction where they were like, oh no, a lot of this God stuff, we've strayed away from godliness with all this vanity. Let's burn the art instead, which is a, a totally different tangent that I won't even get into because it's like, that's the one thing you're not supposed to do. It's like, you can have the art and the indulgence and all this stuff, but then also simultaneously, you know, distribute it a little bit better. Um, half of the Medici got literally genocided inside of the church by the Pazzi. But yeah, but those guys aren't great either. Anyway, th those are doing the same shit. They were on that same shit. Um, but yeah, I mean, after all, look at this. Look, I, I mean, come on, come on. That's literally in the government building. That's art, baby. Can't live with it, can't live without it type shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, the dog is yoked. You'd be yoked too if you were trying to poop like that. You should really check out the Palace of Caserta if you end up going south. The Bourbons nearly bankrupted the Kingdom of Naples in the 17th. Hundreds of fuck you to the King of France. They built Versailles but made it bigger. Hassan, that is a clue to the Da Vinci Code. All I'm saying is the American Protestant mind could not come up with a dog taking a shit, okay? The American Protestant mind could not cultivate enough artistic mass to be able to put such an up uplifting fresca inside of a government building. This is uh, when I went to Spain with my mother and uh, we are at the Sagrada Familia back then. Here it is, okay? Look at this. I just like big titty goth girlfriends. That's what I like. Okay, well, anyway, so uh, it's about reaching up, you know, as high as possible. <laughs> what is that? I'm just laughing because I said nothing. Never mind. <laughs> Keep going. Sorry. How's the food? Oh my god, the food. Oh god, it's so good. First night, we go to the, this little ass Osteria. There's so many of these places everywhere, dude. Um, the food is incredible. I mean, the bread for some reason is not salty at all. They don't put any salt in it for some weird reason. I don't know what the fuck that's about. But um, how's the Mountain Dew there? I don't know because I've only been I've been drinking wine. Um, I Italian food is mid. No, it's not. Oh my god, I had the best asabuco I've ever had in my life. The bread is really really plain. That's a Florence specific thing. There's no salt in the bread. I don't know what the fuck that's about. In Florence, it's a tradition to eat saltless bread. Everywhere else, they are normal. Huh? That's interesting. I, it is weird. It is weird why the bread is saltless here. But the sandwiches, dude. You go. You go to any, you go to any random ass restaurant, basically carved out in a cave, okay, in Italy. You go anywhere, the, the sandwiches, so you're almost the sandwiches you're gonna have are gonna be some of the best sandwiches. Uh, is the best sandwich. Wait until you have pasta in Italy. Yes, the pasta is incredible, but that's like expected. Also, I've had really incredible pasta in other places too. Where this is an old clip. Doing Otherwise, stealing intellectual property. That's how I see it. Shut the f up, dude, okay? I don't want to curse in front of my mom because I'm a good boy. You have no problem cursing in a church. Yeah, why the fuck would I care about cursing? Sorry. 
Apologies, Mom. You had tiramisu in Florence yet? I had one tonight. It was weird. It was like not real tiramisu. I don't know what the fuck that was about. Are you retiring the Italiophobia? Bro, are you kidding me? I, I came here to make my Italiophobia more powerful. So if you think I'm going to stop with my Italiophobia, let me tell you. I'm unstoppable, okay? I was the Gabagool. Incredible. Oh, oh my God. Oh, so fucking good, yeah. 